Sign up for prize picks using code NBA Goober for 100% deposit match up to $100. Link is in the description. Sup, dude. In this video, I'll be naming 10 NBA players who could definitely beat me up. Let's begin. First on the list at number 10 is my tremendously beautiful, jacked, glorious king, LeBron James. He's definitely not a fighter, he's a goofy goober, but if me and him were put in a cage and it's a life or death scenario, he will absolutely 100% obliterate my cheeks, and to be honest, I'm fine with that, all hail the king. Moving on to number 9, I have Latrell Sprewell. Latrell is a pretty skinny dude and I actually happen to weigh more than him, but the difference between me and him is that he's got some serious anger management issues and is 100% about that action. While he was in the league, he showcased this in many ways, such as the time he choked out his coach Pete. PJ Carlesimo during practice because PJ told him to put a little mustard on his passes. After choking him, Latrell left, got some fresh air, calmed down, then he came back to practice about 20 minutes later and tried to punch Carlesimo in the face. And then there was also the time Latrell got in a fight with Jerome Kersey, got his ass kicked, then came back with a 2x4 to try and get revenge, and he also said he was going to get a gun and shoot him. Based upon these facts, he would beat me six ways to Sunday. Number 8 is Kevin Garnett. Kevin is a massive, shredded beast and one of the meanest dudes to ever play in the NBA. He called Charlie Villanueva a cancer patient. At the charity stripe, he told Tim Duncan Happy Mother's Day, knowing full well Tim's mom was dead. He made Glenn Davis cry, and he even told Carmelo his wife tasted like Honey Nut Cheerios. The big ticket wouldn't even have to touch me to beat me up. He could just say something mean to me like, your YouTube channel sucks, and I'd probably get sad and walk away. Seven is John Stockton. He may not be big or intimidating in any way, but let me tell you, Stockton strikes me as a scrappy, high IQ guy who fights the right way. None of the showboating or flash. Strictly fundamentals with tons of heart. He wouldn't knock me out, the fight would definitely go the distance, but in the end, Johnny Boy is winning by decision. Skedaddling in at number 6 is Bill Lambeer, one of the dirtiest players in NBA history. His many nicknames include the Prince of Darkness, Street Thug, Axe Murderer, and His Heinous. My nickname is Goober. Simply by utilizing that information, we can all come to the conclusion that he would destroy my face. At five, I've got Dennis Rodman. I love Dennis, but I think we can all agree he's a complete lunatic. His bestie is Kim Jong-un, he kicked a cameraman in the nuts, and he married himself. My guy's head isn't screwed on straight. That combined with the fact that he's way stronger than his size makes me 100% certain he would beat my ass. Billy Corgan, who used to hang out with Dennis a lot, said he could pick up a 250-pound man with one hand and lift him over a rope. I can't even bench 250 pounds. How do you expect me to compete? For number four, I picked Ben Wallace. He's got one of the meanest mugs I've ever seen. And like Dennis, he was insanely strong for his size. He claims the most he ever benched was an absurd 460 pounds. To put that into perspective, he benched over two of me. A fight between Ben Wallace and I would be like a fight between a grizzly bear and a five-year-old. At the number three spot, I've got Nikola Pekovic. First of all, Look at this dude. He's built like a brick shit house. He's a 6'11", 300 pound James Bond villain. If he squared up with me, without hesitation, piss will be running down my leg and I'll be screaming for my mommy. Second of all, the big fuck hangs around with the Serbian mafia. He's buddy buddy with Montenegrin drug lord Darko Saric, who according to his Wikipedia page, plan to murder many well-known politicians. Seems like a pretty chill dude. They say you are who you surround yourself with, so I can only guess that Pekovic is a pretty dangerous fellow who could probably break every bone in my body. Moving on to number two, I have Shaq Diesel. Walking around normal people, I feel like a pretty large man, but if I stood next to Shaq, I'd look like his prison bitch. The dude is so huge, he wouldn't even have to throw a punch. All he'd have to do is sit on me and I'd be dead. If I were to land a punch or a kick on him, I don't think it would even leave a mark. It'd probably tickle him. In my last video, I said the only way Muggsy Bogues could beat me is if he bit my nuts off, and it's looking like I'll have to do the same to Shaq if I want to live. Okie doke, coming in at numero uno is James Johnson, also known as Bloodsport. If you're unaware, Mr. Johnson is a 6'8", 240-pound black belt in karate. He has a perfect 20-0 kickboxing record as well as a perfect 7-0 MMA record. At 18 years old, he won his first MMA fight in 97 seconds, earning the nickname Little Ali. I am a college dude with absolutely no fighting experience at all, and I also have a habit of crying during sad parts in movies. To put it lightly, James Johnson would delete me from this universe. All right, that's it. Click right there to watch my last video. It's uh, my top 10 players I could beat up. Uh, you'll like it if you like this one. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, dude.